guys, Kilo One here, doing a review on what I think every law-abiding citizen should own, and that's some form of body armor. Okay, whether it's some sort of load-bearing system or a plate carrier, or just even a concealed carrier with soft armor, I think everybody should own some form of body armor and or have some kind of setup that you that you can use and I believe that everybody should own it and train with it frequently okay here I'm running the TAC Pro Gear QPC or quick release plate carrier this retails for about 170 bucks but if you can find a police supply store that sells these like I did and I uh, got this at North County Tactical in Palm Beach Gardens Florida for 90 bucks so I bought an American made product for the same price you can buy the Condor quick release plate carrier so I just went with this option because it's a it's a little better I mean the Condor stuff is great and you'll you'll see that I run a lot of Condor stuff so I'm not bashing Condor by any means but the Molly stitching is a little better on this rig so I just went with this and it is an American made product okay so you can see I'm running a bunch of Condor gear on here this is the a horizontal pistol holster I'm running the triple mag pouch the kangaroo mag pouch and then their rip away EMT pouch so we'll start with the horizontal pistol holster which I kinda dig I mean I like it a lot of people have complaints but I'm kinda digging it right now currently in testing I kinda just purchased this thing a few weeks ago but I'm liking it so far running the Glock 17 Gen 4 Love it, by the way. Already did a review on it, so you can go check that out. Anyways, so as you can see, it's got a snap here, and then you close it, bring this around, snap in place, and then it's also got an extra Velcro uh, strap to just hold it in more secure. Sometimes if I'm running, I'll just, I'll just Velcro it. The Velcro is really strong, so you don't even need to snap it. Then you can see here, it opens up to fit. And then you can adjust this inner strap and it can fit any, any gun. As you can see, this is a full size Glock and I had to shorten it on the interior for it to fit. So then you just do that, that, and it's good to go. So this will hold any gun you want, whether you're shooting a Glock, 1911, SIG, with a flashlight, with a laser, it'll accommodate it. Down here I'm running the Condor AK Kangaroo mag pouch, the triple mag pouch. Got my Glock magazines in there right now. They fit nice and snug. And I'm also running some AK mags. Now it'll hold most AK mags. Any AK mag that I've ever used that holds it. These are the, just the Bulgarian surplus metal ones. This is a Tapco. Uh, 30 round polymer mag and it it holds it really well then over here I'm running the Condor rip away EMT e EMT pouch basically you'll just unclip that got a handle right here and then you'll just rip that off and then you can throw it to your buddy or somebody can rip it off and use it on you if they have to I'll probably break this out in its own review but I've been running this for about two years and I like it a lot. And then it just reattaches and go ahead and fasten it down. I'm also running a knife here. This is the K bar full size. Already did a review on that as well. You can check that out. I'm running it underneath my uh, EMT pouch. I kind of like it there. It doesn't take up any more space since I'm running it underneath this. Now this K 
carrier, this armor carrier accepts both hard and soft armor. So you can run soft armor panels, which I have in there right now. I have 3A soft armor panels in there now. And then it also has a plate pocket on the inside for the addition of hard armor plates. Let's go to the back of it. As you can see, I'm running the another Condor product. I know, okay. It's an overseas produced product, I get it. But I'm not rich guys, and I can't afford what some of these American companies want for something as simple as a, this is the hydration pouch that you can get for around 19 bucks on some places, and it comes with a water bladder you know, you can't beat that, especially if you're on a tight budget and you need some gear. Now I'm running a platypus three liter in here. Okay, and also, on the front here, if you look for a triple mag pouch anywhere else, like I, I believe I got this for $18 on Amazon, okay? Blackhawk or 511 you're gonna pay about 40 bucks easy 35 40 bucks and or if you buy those taco mag pouches you're gonna end up spending sixty dollars just to buy three you know and that's not even for a kangaroo type pouch with the pistol mag on the front pistol mag holder on the front so and like we said in the past I mean this this site is to bring you guys options that are affordable for the everyday person who's not rich or wealthy and is kind of on a tight budget and plus a lot of people buy 511 and blackhawk which they are they make good stuff but they do that to be tactical, cool you know versus something that's just as good and it's gonna it's gonna operate just as good and it's not as flashy you know some of the higher higher price name brand stuff but I digress back to the plate carrier here as you can see the molly is very even all the way to the end here so any any magazine pouch or any molly gear you buy is gonna fit on this vest triple stitched very strong webbing on there I've never had any problem with it and I always take my gear on and off as you see up here on the top now this is the back side of the vest and it's kind of a mirror image of the front side of the vest so along the top here you're gonna have velcro all the way across for patches whether you're a police officer and you want to run police or sheriff on the back or if you're security like like I am and I run security on the back and then it also has molly integrated into the velcro at the top here very strong drag handle on the back if you look at a lot of plate carriers some of them have really chintzy drag handles but this one's pretty beefy you can see right there you got the cross stitching with a box stitch around it it's very strong and then you got a center stitch that runs all the way through from this side to the other side which is the exact same over here same stitching and the molly runs all the way around okay so let's open this thing up and, uh, and I'll show you how the armor integration works on this as well as what I run personally in this vest. Now to open it, on the front or the back you have three Velcro straps here and you just lift it up and you'll see you got two on the cummerbund here you got two Velcro attachments you got pull tabs on them so you just open it up. Now what I like to do is I'll leave one side closed and then I'll just get in on one side that way I don't have to keep reattaching both of them I can just get in on one side the other side's already fitted to me and then I can just close it like so okay so open 
loosen that up. Now this vest accepts box cut inserts, box cut soft armor. Now take your armor in and out of this thing. It's very simple. There's just some Velcro at the bottom. And your panels come out there. These box cut armor are made by Midwest Armor and Strategic Solutions. Very good stuff. NIJ 06 certified. And I ordered these through a company called BulletproofMe.com. They're really great. Their prices are really affordable. Their staff is great. And they sell to civilians, whether you're security or not. It doesn't matter. You can buy from them, which is excellent because nowadays a lot of the companies are only selling to law enforcement or military. So great company. Look it up. I'll put a link in the description to them. So I usually, I generally run 3A armor. I just, I mean, for what you're going to face on a on a day-to-day -day basis, level 3A will stop it. The majority of your pistol rounds, the majority of your shotgun rounds, even some submachine gun rounds. So 3A is very versatile and it's lightweight. Very lightweight. I think this panel here weighs two and a half pounds. This full-size panel here. So you're looking at maybe five pounds for both panels. You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna run armor, you know, AR five hundred armor plates, which I have a set of those plates, but you're looking at close to sixteen pounds, fifteen, sixteen pounds, just for the armor, not even everything else you're gonna have on your vest. It's heavy, guys, and it's hard to run around in that all day. Trust me, I've been there. So soft armor is the way to go, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. All right, so you open this up, and you'll see in there that you got a plate pocket. Okay, and you'll open it up. You'll slide your plate in there. You also have an extra strap on the inside so you can really tighten it down. You'll just loop it through this here, tighten it down, and you're good to go, and you'll Velcro it back over. Now, what I like about this vest versus some other vests is you can put a square plate in the back. And a lot of vests aren't like that anymore. A lot of vests, for whatever, uh, put the shooter's cut style pocket in the back, which is unnecessary because you you're not aiming at the front of your vest, you know. So this will hold the 10 by 12 plates, uh, which is what I have. I don't know if it'll hold any larger plates. It's advertised as holding 10 by 12 and it fits my 10 by 12 plates pretty snug. So I'm not, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to get some 11 by 14 inch extra large plates in there. And then to close it back up, you know, you'll just put your armor back in there and then very easily just reattach the Velcro and you're good to go. As you can see on the inside, we got mesh which is awesome, especially here in Florida, it gets hot, really hot during the summer, very humid, and this allows for great ventilation. Now I've worked in the summer with this vest in some very hot days, on some very hot days, and I've never had it, I've never had the feeling that I'm getting overheated in this vest. So very good ventilation on this vest. The mesh is comfortable. It's like a nylon, mesh it's a very tough mesh it's not going to rip on you or anything if you're rough on your vest which is nice cummerbund the front is the same way on how you're going to open up the armor on it the table's getting messed up there we go all right guys so that's my review on my my plate carrier or my chest rig and what systems I run. Now, in my opinion, you guys got to be weight conscious about your rigs. 
you know, especially if you have bug out bags or whatever, and you, you plan on running your bug out bag with your, with your system, I'm telling you, you're going to load your bug out bag to the max, and then you're going to throw some, some rifle plates in your plate carrier, and you're going to load up with like 10 mags, and you're not going to be able to walk out the front door. You know, it's very hard to move with a lot of weight, especially for long periods of time. Yeah, when you first put it on, you can be like, oh, this isn't bad. Ten minutes later, you're going to be like, wow, this is really heavy. Especially if you have to move fast in a defensive situation. Now, I personally only run a DL3 loadout. That's three mags, three pistol mags, three rifle mags. And then I'll run some other stuff. But I don't run a lot on my plate carrier because... If I have to move fast, I want to be able to move fast. This as it sits with mags, pistol, knife, EMT pouch is 23 pounds. So, which is not extremely heavy, but it's just at that point where I feel comfortable. And that's what you, you should really do is load up your vest Put it on, walk around your house for a long period of time and see if you can handle that weight. Or if you live in an area where you can jog with it on or walk or do a trail hike, that's even better. Okay? But that's just my opinion. Uh, just something that I found out, you know, if you're going to, you know, own a chest rig and then you're going to deck it out with all this stuff, that's cool. But if you can't carry it practically, then it's, it's no good. So, all right, guys, appreciate you watching. Leave comments below. Like I said, all the time, both positive and negative comments are welcome. And uh, that's it. So take care, guys.